when I was a kid, I saw, like, a too early of an age, I saw Raging Bull, and it was the first time that I realized that movies weren't all um, spaceships and Muppets and, and you know, um, fantasy, that there was, that movies ha- could go, you know, to more serious, um, deeper places. And I saw the movie, I, I you know, I was like seven or something, I probably shouldn't have seen it, but I managed to see it somehow and I thought wow this is a lot different than anything else I've ever seen so I think that kind of has stuck with me. I'm Jody Lambert I'm the director of Of All the Things and we are here at the Santa Fe Film Festival as part of the AFI 2020 project. Uh, I think that the hardest part of the entire process is the first moment where you just really make the commitment to not turn back and everything else kind of falls into place some of it doesn't most of it does but I think the hardest part is saying, okay, we're going to do this and, and we're not going to stop until we have a full-length feature film. Uh, of All the Things is the title of the film. It's a music documentary about my dad, Dennis Lambert, who was a very successful songwriter, producer in the 70s and 80s, had like a ton of hits. And uh, now he's very much out of the music business selling real estate and um, in Florida. And that would have been the end of the story, except he finds out that one album he made as a singer uh, in the early 70s, the only album he ever made as an artist, has become a huge uh, popular kind of classic in the Philippines. And they have been trying to lure him over there to tour for about 30 years. And finally, in 2007, he agreed to go, and the movie follows him on this tour, and he sort of gets his mojo back in, in the Philippines. And is this your first film? First film, yeah. Wow. And um, what's some of the, like, can you give us a little rendition of the piece of song that people, like, young people, too, would recognize? <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, he, creepy. I can't sing it, but. Uh, right. Just some words. Maybe. He wrote um, Ain't, no Woman, Ain't No Woman Like the One I've Got by the Four Tops. Uh, he produced uh, Baby Come Back, which everybody. Baby probably, Come Back. There it is. Baby Come Back. Uh, Rhinestone Cowboy, he produced by Glenn Campbell. Night Shift by the Commodores, which is about Marvin Gaye and Jackie Wilson. Uh, he was one of the writers, I have, to, I have to qualify this one, of We Built This City um, on Rock and Roll by Starship. Um, I almost said Jefferson Airplane, but it's certainly not by them. Uh, what else? One Tin Soldier, Don't Pull Your Love. Um, yeah, a lot of hits. Save the film. Save the film, save the world. Wait, but tell me what I'm tell me what I'm saying. It's first. our tagline. All right, <laughs> save the film, save the world. I'm a, I'm mixed on that one actually. I think that uh, yeah, I mean I think yes that there that film and any art you know music, film, painting, writing, you know gets inside people in a way that changes them, mm-hmm. and I think that is how it changes the world.